Hello everybody, Color Farty's back for more Seblems. Praise be to God on this great day. So off camera, I was able to solve Unrequited 15. Ferdy, which I still think is a bad name for the level, but maybe I'll figure that out in the future why it's called that. And I gotta say, this level I was actually incredibly close to the solution, and the solution is amazing. So I was doing the beginning part pretty much intended. You put the blocker there, you dig at the edge, you put the blocker back there, I'm making that guy a climber, and then he builds. Build on that side as well. Climber's gonna climb up here and dig, but instead of using the blocker to cancel him, you use a basher. So that'll put the lemmings in that little holding cell. You bash under the blocker to free him. Mr. Climber's gonna go up here. Mine and build. He's gonna turn around. Then when he hits the wall, he'll climb back up and use the other miner to get through the other part. Now we're gonna set up a second climber, and this is where the pathway differs. I used to dig down here and use my cloner, but you need the cloner to be alive up here. So instead what you do is you send the second lemming and use the blocker that you saved earlier to actually turn the digger around so he can bash through it. And by that same account, as long as you assign the climber far enough away that he will survive this fall, everything should be going according to plan. So then he digs down and bashes. While he's bashing for that, this guy's gonna climb up. You need to bomb him in a pretty specific sp uh, spot on this pole, right there, and you're gonna figure out why in just a little bit. Using our other basher to give him that, he's gonna go through all that whoop-de-woo and turn around. So now we've got this mob of lemmings. Thankfully, using a basher, you can bash into this steel without any going up this slope. So now these guys are penned in. We've got our second climber who's going to climb up this pole. Now he's going to build. We clone him at a pretty specific point so that way this guy hits his head, turns around, walks off the end of the bridge, but still hops up here so he can mine through all of this. This guy's gonna turn around, he's gonna build up just high enough that everybody can get up that without needing to be climbers, then he'll use two of our builders to get to the exit. And I think you see where this is going. So we've mined at just the right point so that way it breaks a large hole at the end of the wall. So now we actually can build up to the exit in a single builder. Now what we want to do is we wanted to build, make that specific lemming build, so that way the climber is the only one who will get past it and he'll be isolated for the time being before these guys turn around. That way we can build up to the top of this pole so they can all go to the exit and nobody falls down here and splat. Actually, I, they wouldn't have splatted anyways. Don't know why I thought they would have. And yeah, that's level solved. Holy cow, that was an insanely difficult level because it had so many moving parts to it and there was no real part of the level where you could just instantly be like, oh, I, I must need to use this skill here. Like, it was super ambiguous and that's what makes it so hard. Alright, on to level 16, the high cube. Why is there a roll of toilet paper on this level? That makes no sense to me. Two minute time limit though, so yay, this will be a short level. And we can kill four lemmings, so wonderful. Hmm, I don't like that. Maybe it won't even play a role in the solution. Alright. So the exit's over here. Okay, getting up here is going to be hard, so if not impossible. So we're basically <laughs> going to need two bombers alive to get them up there, or we're going to need to go down into the inner workings. Seeing as how there are all these vertical poles, I'm guessing we're going with the bomber method. So I think that time limit is going to be the tough part. So we can send a climber up. Actually, we'll send all four of our climbers up, I think. Or at least we can send one to start doing the building, two behind him. They can fall down there. Yeah, well... No, they're probably going to splat if they do that. We'll time it. I think one bomber will get them up each step, so that's two. 
So that actually isn't very skill intensive. These guys are going to be a bit harder. So let's see. We can kill four lemmings, so we actually can even kill the blocker if we choose. Oh boy, this music again. Why is this playing on a lot of the marble levels? I am not sure. Actually, two minute time limit. You're gonna climb, and you're gonna climb. Alright, how many builders am I going to need? I'm going to need two to get across there. Two to get across there. Then two to get up there, probably? Okay. Actually, no, we can get up there in one builder. Sweet. Alright, this level actually seems fairly simple. This this one just seems to be more about multitasking than anything else. here, that's better. My point is, he's going to build up and be able to bash for that, and then... Uh, yeah, I think this one is literally just all about the timing. So then he digs, hits his head. Ah, okay. And I don't think I can mine from farther back than that. Hmm. Alright, so this part might be a bit trickier. I mine back as far as I could. I did. Mm. All right. Well, I almost have the level solved by any case. So. Hmm.
where can I cut back? I guess I could try to cut back on the builder there, but... Hmm. I do use a builder to do that, which might not be ideal. I feel like this one is nowhere near as hard as the last one. Yeah, that's just a couple pixels too high. Hmm. New idea. Here's a new idea. Let's mine at the beginning and trap everyone down here. This looks like a much better idea. Oh, that's right. I forgot about you. we can build up there in two builders. should be much more doable now that we've got a bit more ceiling to work with. I'm gonna let him turn around so that nobody else turns around. Because, you know, time limited stuff.
Let's crank that release rate. I might even have a climber to spare at the end. The question is, will everybody reach the exit in time? I'm guessing no. Hey! Just in time. Every second used. You can't ask for anything better than that, honestly. So that was way easier than the last level. But I guess it's good to have breathers every once in a while. This is another one I was warned about ahead of time. Level 17, Machinery. Because it's free minute time limit, and look how big the level is. But hey, that gives us a good hint. We just got to keep moving at all times. And five lemmings can be killed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously you use the builder there. I actually think the one-way conveyor belt might come in handy more than it would hinder us, which is pretty good. That could be problematic. That could be problematic as well. Basher at the end. Three bombers here. You know what? We might as well just try some stuff. I feel like a lot of this is just for decoration as well. So I think bombers are going to be much more precious than bashers, so... I think a lot of this is just going to be rewinding the replay to get to specific points. Here's one part I'm like, what the heck? pixel except the one I wanted. Hmm. Clearly I've got to be using more climbers than this, but I definitely need three at the very end here. Two to get down through this, then one to get down in this, and then the basher to get us out. The beginning looks okay. I definitely could do it faster, though. Oh. 
I could follow that up with another. That's also all the builders I have, which is honestly probably fine. Too hasty with that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking at. seconds later than that. <laughs> oh, also, I can't just let all these guys die with Reckless Abandon. <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually a very bad idea. <laughs> Let me save the walker. The walker's gonna be much more useful later on. Much more useful. Oh, forgot about that. Okay, so actually we will need to use the walker at the beginning. Play Overrider will be very helpful on this level. So I could already have a couple of Lemmings go past him when he does that. Still trying to figure out what that last builder is going to be for. Probably to... Figured it out. We're gonna run out of bashers, so actually... I'm gonna build over this. That also saves our walker. That's so exciting. Send him a bit earlier than that, actually. That's 
a bit better. Yeah. There we go. Then if we send the rest of the crowd... It's gonna be this part that's gonna be problematic. Alright, highlighting you. Sign of Basher there. I don't know what was the deal yo there, but all right. Now let's try a free in the hall. I hope this is enough. I've definitely got the right solution, it's just will they make it in time? Nope, I've got to do it more precisely than that. That's definitely what you have to do. It's just got to really. Okay, how much? How much of? There was not that much of a gap between them. Even if I compress that, it wouldn't be enough. So I've just got to compress all of the gaps. All right, well, to start things off. I already see a way. This one, I mean, will climb up that and will make someone else do the building, the second bridge. So just for kick's sakes, we'll do that one. Now, hopefully that'll be enough of a gap. It won't be enough of a gap. All right. So we delay that second guy. That's pretty good. And obviously he needs a guy right behind him guy pretty close behind him after that. That's not right behind him. Still not right behind him. That might work. Let's see if that works. I feel like you could cut this level down a bit. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work out. They're too close together. 
I kind of figured they were, but I gotta get it really, really close. That's a much better gap. Hmm. So actually, I think the second lemming... Yeah, second lemming I need to release faster than that, actually. Let's try right there. I want to get this as close as possible. So if I take this level, like, one step at a time... Oh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Alright, now I can focus on getting this next lemming out at the right time. So let's try... him. Alright, make it sooner than that. Yeah, I like that. Alright. Then we need a guy a decent distance behind him, but not a huge distance, so... Like, as soon as he starts climbing up. That looks like a very nice distance. Because basically what I'm planning... That guy's gonna bomb, that guy's gonna do the bash walk bomb. That guy's gonna bomb, and I'm gonna see how much of a gap there is between this guy and this guy. There's gonna be a significant gap, so we need another one. Yeah. So, first lemming, second lemming, we'll do all this. Then we'll need third, fourth, and fifth. So this is all my climbers. So this is really going to come down to when do we release? I think as soon as he hits the treadmill, I'm going to release. Whoa, whoa! How come that's a really tiny gap between them? There used to be a bigger one. Oh, doggone it! Are you serious? Oh, that messed me up a bit. Alright. Second, that's the third guy. So we actually need to wait a little bit longer. So let's try this. Having the right gap between them is important when you're doing walk bombing. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's where it's at. Oh, actually, wait. Needs to be a bigger gap between him. Yeah. This looks very promising. I am a huge fan of this level, though. It really forces you to be fast, and not enough Lemmings levels do that. Alright. But being fast in Lemmings is a very important skill to learn. This is 
really going to just come down to? Did I release the crowd at the right time? I actually probably could have done that a little earlier, but I think we're all good to go. Ma magnificent level. I even unlocked a talisman for that. Okay, I've got to see that talisman. Uh, F6. Beep, 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 beep. Where was the unrequited one? It's somewhere, unless that was onward and upward. Oh, well, that's weird. Where the heck was that talisman? That seems a bit odd. Oh well. Well, uh, Flopsy, tell me in the comments which talisman I unlocked for that. But, wow, yeah, we got through three levels today. Granted, one of them I solved off camera, but the other two were really fun. Actually, all three of those were really good levels. I'm very impressed with this rank. And I believe that means only three left. Yeah, maybe, uh, hopefully we can finish those in the next episode. But in the meantime, I finally get an episode that's under 40 minutes. So I'm going to end the episode off there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode. We will hopefully finish the unrequited rank, or at least we'll come darn close. Hope to see you there. Have a great day, and God bless.